But I, you know, I'm, I'm really am thankful and grateful. I've been, I've been blessed and yeah. uh, thankful, very thankful to the people of Howe and the coaches and teachers and students that I've worked with. You know, when you're here 31 years and we graduate, what, 70 kids a year on the average? In 31 years, that's 2,100 kids that's gone through here. And uh, it's embarrassing sometimes you, you see someone that went through, but, you know, you can't remember their name, <laughs> which has to do with old age. <laughs> Coaches have so much more camaraderie usually with kids than a regular teacher. Not that they're not important, but mm -hmm. still just coaches have, have, you know, been with them a long time. Right. More hours and yeah. you just get really close to most, most of them. <laughs> Grady Lankford came to me, he was on the board and said, we need a football coach, uh, would you come? I didn't have a job. You know, I was single at the time, and I said, sure. I didn't check into it. Yeah. And so, anyway, Grady, they actually, they came after, they came after me. Yeah. And so, I I took it, and I, I talked to every boy in high school in the, the fall of uh, 60, that would have been what, 64. Mm -hmm. The fall of 64, and I raked and scraped and got 20 out for football. Total high school, 20. And 12 of them were in the ninth grade. <laughs> and we had a couple of seniors that played, but we got out, they had never played football before. So you can tell from that, playing all those young kids and all that, it wasn't gonna be very successful. Mm -hmm. So actually it was, it was in awful, awful bad shape. And we dressed, over in the old school on five, Highway 5. Yeah. In the gymnasium, you go on the south side, you go downstairs, down into that dressing room. That's where we dressed. Mm. Yeah, we went down there and dressed. And we did that for two years till they built the field house. We went into the year 631, that third year. Mm. And then I don't think we ever had another losing season. And I'm saying, below 500, five and five or, or worse until, I don't know, we went seven or eight years in a row. Yeah. And uh, of course we had that good bunch in 70 and they were a close bunch and you know, it was Ricky Haining and Ricky Orr, uh, Butch Thornhill, uh, the Snyder boys, uh, Butch Snyder, uh, you know, I hate to leave anybody out. Right. Robert Billy and uh, Robert Trotter had a receiver, Jerry Dukes, that was really good, mm -hmm. and that, that was just a, just a good bunch. Well, the next year, I think we went five and five the next year, after that bunch graduated, and then we went, but what got bad, but then we moved up from class, at that time from class B, we moved up to 1A. Well, when you jump in classification, you know, it's, it's tougher. Yeah. You know, when you at the bottom, you got they got, each team has a few good, and the higher up you go, they have better and better and more and more good athletes. Mm -hmm. You know that you have to compete with. Yeah. So uh, we moved when we moved up. That's when it really hit us that uh, we weren't very good again. And I don't think you know, looking back after year after we won the regional championship, which at that time was as far as you could go. I uh, wish we could have gone further. There was only eight schools left in our classification in all the state of Texas. So I wish we could have gone on and seen what would happen. But anyway, and you know, and next year, I don't, I don't think I got any dumber. Some people, that, some people would question that. They probably thought I did. I got, I got dumber. But <laughs> it helps to have good kids. It does. You know, and through the years, I met a lot, a lot, of made a lot of good friends, a lot of coaches, yeah. imposing coaches, people, you know, uh, like pa Jackie Hendricks at, at Princeton, and, you know, Charlie Williams at Van Alstine, and Bob Ledbetter, yeah. he and I are, are good friends. And yeah. So, you know, you made, I even, I've known GA forever and ever and ever. Yeah.
don't know anything good about him, but <laughs> <laughs> Virgil Miller at Anna. Yeah. You know, and he was at Salina. Just made lots and lots of good friends. Yeah. Through the years, doing that and doing track meets. And right. Stuff. Just been blessed. I've been really blessed. Had some chances to leave, but never did. And just hey, the people of How it really have treated me great and been mm -hmm. good to me, and it's been a been a good time. <laughs>